Right, here we are again. So I'm going to um, start doing um, the blue undertones and um, veins. So I'm going to do exactly the same as exactly the same order as I did on the other side. Um, so I'm just going to add some psycho. <coughs> Some solvent. Actually, uh, it's come out really well. There's, there's no obvious join between the two, um, and it'll be blended even more when we when we do the other colours. Um, it's slightly stuck to the lolly sticks. I'll just take those off now. I'll keep uh, keep the, the 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 body lifted to so that it uh, reveals the. Uh, neck better um, so that we can paint that easily. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the the join. Right, blue. Um, <clears throat> just gonna put one drop in. It's not exact science. This the thickness of uh, your work, your your silicon. But I usually say I like it approximately the thickness of um, milk. You know that's got the cream in it, a whole milk. So it's still a little bit creamy, sticks to the size a little bit, but it's pretty ru pretty runny. Right. Um, find a nice sponge. One looks good. It's a great thing about these sponges, you can tear them down to whatever size you want to work with. So that's quite a nice size. So, right, what we're going to do is um, going back to our diagram, these are the areas we're going to do most um, of the blue. So it's going to be again the, the bits where. Um, where you get veining, where you see the veining, the thin, thinner parts where the skin's the thinnest. So um, we're not doing the veining just yet, we're just going to do the, the blue undertone, so a little bit between, sort of down the middle of the chest, over the sternum, um, around the bottom of the tummy, and a little bit around the genitals. Um, under the arms because that's going to be a slightly darker a darker area eventually and then well we've done this bit already maybe a little bit down the top of the arm and the top of the hand where we might, might have one or two veins and then on the head is across the temples
I mean across the, across the forehead, sorry, above the brow. Um, I'm going to go with a smaller, my little dabber. I'm going to go um, here in between the eyes uh, and be careful it doesn't collect. I'm going to go across the nose here between the eyes and just on the in, in, inside edge of the eye. Just watch it doesn't drip down and collect in the crease because that was is really difficult to get off. Um, in the creases where it's going to be a bit deeper Um, and then in the temple area where you do get your veining right I'm just going to add a teeny bit more blue to this and go over the similar areas again I am in danger of adding too much blue. I know I, it's one of my things. I love the blue, blue, blue. the blue makes the the pinks pop. I think, um, but you do have to be careful. You don't add too much. All right, a little bit more in the sternum, over the sternum. Take off anything excess. Bottom of the belly. Over the genitals, a little bit on the legs where the veins are going to go, just a bit, a little bit random on the other bits. You can put a little bit on the ball of the foot, underneath the foot. Not so it's too noticeable. None of this will be not it should be noticeable. So if you can see the blue on your baby, you've probably put it on too too uh, too thickly or too dark on the top of there. It should be virtually invisible, but just there because you know it's there. And then a little bit more on the head. I can hear my my cat meowing in the garden. I think I need to go and see if he's all right. It's probably he's probably caught something. Last time he made a noise like that, it was because uh, he put, he caught a a magpie, a live one. That was a lot of fun. He brought it in the house for me. Yeah, if, if ever, ever you've tried to catch a magpie in, in a kitchen, it's not something that um, I would particularly want to repeat. I mean, better a magpie than any other kind of bird, I think, because magpies aren't nice, aren't particularly nice birds. Um, they're, not, they're a bit cruel to other young, aren't they? Um, but still not, 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 not... Not something I'd like to repeat. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on the lips too, just a teeny bit. There we are. Right, I'm just going to go down and um, see what my cat has caught for me today. Um, let's see if I can get it off. So it may, he may just be feeling lonely. So generally, the the blue bits are the the. Either the bits that sort of like recess down into a shadow and or the bits where the skin is very faint and sometimes you get the sort of like the, the veins showing through. Right, I'm just going to go down and see what my cat's been up to. Just make sure it's, it's all dabbed off before I leave it. There we are. And then we'll do the veins when I come back. Assuming... The cat hasn't actually brought something in for me. Right. Right, all is well. He hadn't actually caught anything. He just wanted someone to play with. Actually, I've gone and left my glasses downstairs now. 
Oh, okay, I'll be back in a minute. Right, okay. I, at least it's keeping me fit, all this running up and down. Well, it's not, but anyway. Right, where was I? Okay, I was just about to um, do the veins. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue again. Uh, maybe a drop or two. One. I just had one drop because the mixture is uh, less liquid than it was before because I've used it, so it's going to have more of an effect on it, if you know what I mean. Oh. Now that's a bad thing to do, right? Get blue pigment all over your hand because what will happen is it will transfer to the baby. That's just so stupid. But of course I only did it to show you what you shouldn't do. So if you do get pigment on your hands, the best way to get it off with is with solvent because pigment is usually suspended in solvent so you just add whatever solvent you're using don't go and try and get it off with soap and water before you've used solvent because it won't come off so just get it off with, with whatever solvent you're using and then go and wash your hands so that's what I shall do I'll be back in a minute okay Right, okay, veins, so what I'm going to do is do a couple of veins coming down the forehead and into the temples um, and then just do just a suggestion of the odd one on the arm or the leg but I'm not going to go to town with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is have a vein coming down from the head can you see? And down from the head, wiggly line, wiggly vein. Don't be afraid to put it on and take it off again. Um, it does stain, but that's okay. Even just having a, a stain of a vein is sometimes better than even having a painted vein. Um, that's like a stain of a vein, really, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to use one of these actually, just to pat it, pat it off, there we are, you can really literally hardly see that. Um, can you see? You literally can hardly see it, uh, might add just a teeny bit more colour to parts of it because it goes in and out from the, from the surface. Oops. There we are. That will do nicely. Don't forget, lots of this will be underneath the hairline anyway. Um. So it's barely there. I've got a bit of blue around the outside of it, either side, which is fine. And then just have it forking off a little bit into the towards the eye. <coughs> You'll have one coming down the forehead. Don't have too many, just the odd one just to give the impression of a vein. Again, take it, take it back off. Bearing in mind that um, blue does stain. Okay. And then another one on this side. Same thing. Going to, oops, don't do that. Don't drop a blob of blue paint on you on your baby's head. Use that and then down there. Okay. There we are. So it's just giving the impression of, ooh, sorry, of a vein there. 
Okay, I'm just going to do an impression of one vein coming down the chest, slightly to the side. Yeah, I need to uh, move the camera. Just a bit of an impression. So the eye, the, 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 the brain sees it, but the eye doesn't really see it. But the brain sees it and thinks, oh, that's a realistic looking body. <laughs> one would hope. Maybe a little one there. Um, okay, we'll have a little vein going into the genital area, vein or two. A little vein going down the thigh a little bit. Those medics among you will be saying, no, there's no vein there. There's no vein there. Can't, can't work out which, which leg you're looking at. But as I say, it, it's a case of... Um, Tricking the eye, really, tricking the brain. Saying, oh, look at those veins, isn't that realistic? In actual fact, you know, you wouldn't actually see the vein in a real baby. It just gives the impression of uh, being realistic. Right, that's, what, that's, what, that's all I'm going to do, or I might do. Now, I'm not going to put a vein on the hand, actually. If it's done, bad, if it's done badly, it's, there's nothing worse, actually. Right, so that's all I'm doing in the way of veining. Um, I'm going to cure that and then we can go on to the next stage, which is uh, using the other blush colour, the uh, the cooler, cool red. Getting used to this now, I see. Right, I'm going to I'm going to um, cure that and then I'll be back.